zollies are soldered using silver solder. There you go, I've said it, everyone calm down. Hey guys, welcome back and a Merry Christmas to you. Um, this is our last show of uh, 2021, so I'll say Happy Christmas and good Happy New Year. Um, and this week I'm looking at the Zolly Panisse. Um, the last time I looked at a Zolly, uh, there was a little bit of storm in the comments from Americans who felt that I didn't give the gun a fair shake. I disagree, and it turns out so does Zolly, because they've sent me this to review. Um, so let's get started, and hopefully there'll be less... Um, screaming from the cheap seats. <laughs> All right, so we've got a 29 and a half inch barreled game gun here. Um, a Panisse round body is available in obviously different barrel length configurations, but the one I've got today is 29 and a half. Um, solid mid rib, 18.5 inch bores, uh, multi-choke. Very, very nicely struck off and nicely blue barrels with a Churchill style top rib, which is a six mil game rib with all of the tape are done effectively here in the um, in the space of the monoblock. It's quite a nice little detail. Um, very nicely checkered on top of the uh, the rib and we've got a, a steel front bead. Um, the gun is full of very, very, very nice detailing. This checkering is absolutely fantastic. It's all hand cut, nicely bordered, um, with some really nice details in the way that the bordering is shaped into the forend. Very, very nice. Um, we've got obviously a sort of nice slim English sporter style forend. Some nice detailing in the forend latch. And as I said, this lovely detailing in the, in the checkering. The action on this RB is very, very um, pretty. Um, nicely sort of wall to wall, um, covered in this acanthus scroll, um, which looks very, very well in the gun. Metal to metal fits fantastic. Wood to metal fits great. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, no gaps to speak of, lovely. Boss action, so you can see the uh, these twin lugs hanging off the uh, going off the front of the, uh, the monoblock, and then two lumps on the bottom of the monoblock for additional lockup. Um, lockup is nice, feels good. Um, the detailing here on the uh, on the fences and coming back into the, the top strap, lovely. Um, barrel selector and safety trigger adjustable blade with a, an inertia unit, and it is a removable trigger plate. Um, very nice. Coming back into the stock and the pistol grip. Pistol grip's nice, it's got a nice sort of raked feel to it, no palm swell. Again, very nicely checkered with a nice little bit of detailing. It kind of sweeps over the top. And then this very nice slim uh, game stock with a uh, wood butt pad. All in all, the gun is just covered in very, very pleasant details. It's really nice thing to behold and to shoot. We've got some nice dueling on the uh, sides of the monoblock here. It's all very, very well screwed together. Three inch chambers, 18.5 gives you that sort of middle ground so you can shoot either fiber or plastic. To shoot, it's lovely. It's um, what, 15 inch length of pull, just a hair under seven pounds. Um, balances a touch forward of the pin but to be honest, on a lightweight gun, that's no bad thing because it means it's not so fly, about, fly away in one beat. It handles, as you would expect, very much like a game gun. It's fast, um, easy to move, but it's actually all right to draw a line with because you've got that weight out front. Um, I've had no problems. The ejectors are well-timed. Trigger pulls are lovely. It's been really, really nice. I've enjoyed shooting it. No recoil to speak of for such a light gun. Um, lovely. Genuinely very impressed with it. The gun is well presented in a sort of green felt line case and you get some socks and a sticker and some chokes and a chokey and whatever, the usual bits and bobs. And it's five grand, which to be honest, if I was say, if somebody said to me one of these or a Rattini, I'd tend towards this to be fair, it's really, really nice. Um, what, nothing else to say, there's nothing bad to say about this gun apart from the obvious, which is you must be aware that the UK market has never really recovered in terms of confidence in the Zolly brand since they were the guns they were making 15, 20 years ago. Um, Edgar Brothers Zolly have got a bit of an uphill battle really to sort of convince the gun trade that these are as good 
and as worthy a gun as they are, um, hopefully people will start to realise it. It is a shame, but at the minute, if you buy one of these new, you are taking a punt and you are hoping that the market starts to trust Zolly because the guns, the Z gun I've just reviewed and this, are really nice. They are very, very good. And this one is not terrible value for money at five. Um, it's just what you're willing to lose um, in the used market. But if you're buying it as a forever gun, it's really nice. Really nice. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hopefully, the Americans can calm down. And I haven't said anything that they disagree with. Uh, <laughs> um, the channel is, as ever, supported by uh, Bio Shooting Ground, Old Cartridge and Matt Wet Gloves. Follow me on the socials, like and subscribe, the usual stuff. Um, we just hit 15k subs in the last couple of weeks, which is fantastic. Let's have a 20 next. Um, and uh, guys, have a wonderful Christmas and a great new year. Hopefully we'll see some more normality next year once uh, Omicron dies down, but who knows. Take care and I will see you next time.